Hey everybody, Noah here. Uh, I decided while Anthony's away, Noah will play City Skylines. Uh, he's busy doing undercover stuff for the CIA or the FBI or uh, the KGB or uh, Taco Bell. Uh, anyway, I decided I'll, I'll put a few City Skylines cities out. Will I put many out? Who knows? Probably not. Unless, you know, people will like them. But more often than not, I'll do a one-off and see how it goes. Maybe I'll do more. Uh, let's see here. Where do we want to play? Uh, I do want to give a shout-out to this guy. I don't remember who made... Oh, there it is right there. Blue Mongoose Interspeed. This is actually a map of my hometown someone made. Uh, Astoria, Oregon. And as you can see, there's a, the bridge that's called the Megler Bridge going over to Washington. That's the Young's Bay Bridge, and this is supposed to be Young's Bay, and that's supposed to be Warrenton. Uh, this is the a peninsula that Astoria is kind of on. It's kind of a peninsula, rather. This is... Sh this this landmass shouldn't be there, but you know it is. Anyway, uh, we're not going to play there, though, as much as I want to. We are actually going to play uh, probably the, the Diamond Coast. That's a good one. That's the one I like. Lots of land, uh, suitable for building. 69%. <laughs> um, some good resources. Anyway, let's get, let's get to it. Uh, this game is a game that, uh, and it is a game, uh, a game that is a wonderful game, and a game itself, um, that I, I was really looking forward to. Um, I really enjoyed SimCity, I love City Builders, um, and I, I just decided we'll play it. I've been playing it a lot, still not very good, most of, my pe most of the time my, uh, t towns always end up just dead and whatnot, so. Anyway, as you can see, we start here with, uh, just an entry and an out, an inlet and an outlet. I'm gonna pause it. I build these roads. 70, 70 grand in the bank. Uh, we actually just have to put a road down, and then once that's put down, we can actually build the other one. So we'll just go ahead and delete that. Um, these are highways, so we don't have highways yet, but we do have four lane, six lane roads rather. Uh, but actually, we're gonna put a roundabout because who doesn't love a good roundabout? So that'll go there. We'll delete these little suckers. And I just realized I did not rename the city, which is fine. Uh, it's not the worst thing to happen. It's not great though. How oh, someone's banging around out there? Go like that. Go like that. <laughs> oh god, it looks horrible. But you know, it is what it is. Um, let's see here. Technical difficulty. All right, and we're back. I just had a little bit of a issue, uh, but the issue should be resolved. So. Um, where were we? That's right, we built the roundabout and we built the little doohickeys there. So let's go ahead and build our first roads off the roundabout. Uh, where was I before? Oh yeah, we didn't name it. Uh, can, can I name it? Can I, can, I, can I name it? Oh, I can. Okay, uh, a good city name. Uh, how, see, now I always like to go cake deep stuff because who doesn't love a piece of cake? But. What people don't understand is badgers are also a huge part of me. I love badgers, as hence the name Cake Badger. I don't often focus on the badger part, so today I think we'll go Honey Badgerton. Honey Badgerton? Honey Badgerville? No? Honey Badgerville? Honey Badger? Just Honey Badger? Honey Badgerville. It's Honey Badgerville. That's what it's gonna be. Um. Okay, so we have a little road going there. Uh, before I get too started, though, we need some water. So let's go ahead. And, uh, we can we can use a water tower, but we will need a sewage outflow. We'll go ahead and put that there. We'll run some pipes up while we, before we spend all our money. And here's where we can just get started. We can have our little residential and all that jazz. Uh, we might as well put a put a windmill out here. Is this a good spot? I don't know. Horrible. Let's try it. We'll put we'll put a few windmills there. Run some power over here. Now we can get started again. Uh, oh shoot, first we need a water tower, don't we? Yeah, we do. See, this is I'm already distracted. I'm already way behind. Let's put, let's put a water tower there. That'll work. Let's connect it up. Connect it up. As you can see down here, um, I installed something from Steam Workshop. It just uh, allows me to speed up time because three times is just too slow. I can go all the way up to nine speed. I also have some unlocked parks, or some parks that I downloaded. They're not unlocked yet, probably. <laughs> However, they may be. I decided to install those because, you know, it's just more diverse. I mean, the game's great in itself, don't get me wrong. But I decided, uh, in the meantime, until they update it more, I will install the ones I like for myself. So let's just go ahead and make a little 
back. Whoa. Oh. Well, I wasn't really looking for that. Uh, let's make a little residential area. Oh, oh god, it, it snaps. That. I just wanted it. I, what if I do this? No, I, because that's too much. Uh, let's go like this. And connect back up. There we go. They have an ultra crowded. I mean, people are just gonna. Traffic's gonna get so bad. I'm, I should have done that, but. I'm horrible, so it doesn't really matter. We'll have that not like there. We'll put some industry over there so it doesn't interfere with all our residential and our commercial. Um. Let's bump it up to 3 speed, even though we don't have anybody coming in yet. So let's put down... So do we want to do that? I think first, we want to... Uh, we're losing lots of money, so I'm going to pause that. Uh, let's build some roads in here where residential can be. Now, I'm, I'm always more of a fan of... Instead of building huge cities, as the name suggests, I like to build little suburbans, little... You know, little small towns like where I'm from. Like Astoria. Uh... It's just more fun. It's a little more slow paced. Eventually they get built up into big, you know, big areas. I can't really see the whole map, but you can buy nine of these suckers. And by suckers, I mean spaces. Spaces are suckers. Uh, and and that that seems to be enough. You can build some pretty big cities in that area. And and we'll probably end up building an actual metro part if I, I mean, if we decide that we want to do more of this. You know, we'll have a big city part. It will just be so small and dainty. Uh, will that be enough commercial for now? I don't know, who knows. Let's just play it. Four times speed. That, sh that may be enough. Uh, that, that power line's whining because it's, it's not connected to anything, but it will be once we get some commercial built, which we have no desire for in this town uh, because there's nobody living there. And who wants a store and a place? Oh, they're complaining because there's no electric, but there should be electric as soon as someone decides to build in there. Uh, see, we're so close. Maybe for now, just to make everybody happy. So like that. Okay, so everyone should have power now. Everyone should be happy. And there we are. Our first residence is... Oh, I was complaining with you. Uh, water. You know, I forgot about that, honestly. Uh, now, I don't run pipes the best. I just kind of have them sporadic. Uh, you know, let's see, like, that. where would all that water go? It just gets to the end. I don't think it can go back. Because water only flows one way. However, it does look like it's too high. Oh, all the water's gone. Uh, there's no water availability because there's no power. Right. We need to run some power all the way down there and then over to there. Now everybody should be happy. Now everyone should have water. Everyone should be just happy and grand. Uh, no demand for com c uh, commercial because only they have four stores in this town of 165. And the town's. It's a quiet corner shop. It's a Big Bite Burger and Gonuts Donuts. They have what looks it seems to be a 7-Eleven, a uh, uh, quiet corner shop, and a neighborhood shop. And that yak yakisoba tasty noodles. But they're already uh, whining for some uh, factories. However, we need to get some residential in here before I have to take out a loan. Look at that. I've been playing for a whopping five minutes, and I already am low on money. But that's okay, because once we get people moving here, we'll be making the big bucks. And by big bucks, I mean we'll be anywhere in the green, whether that's five dollars or, uh, you know, three dollars. Uh, that, that's that's big enough for me. However, they do seem to really be wanting some industrial. And if I remember, uh, industry makes some great money, so I'll just go like that, and then I'll run these from here. Is that is that going to be too much? Ooh, that's really leaving me with little money. Let's put let's put some there. Let's see if that works. Is that enough water? Yeah, there's enough water. Nah, there's not really enough water. I feel like that. Maybe? No? Yes? A little farther? There we go. That should be making us some money soon. Uh, a little bit of demand for the residential. Low demand, rather. Uh, I say a little bit. Low, medium, high, wealthy, poor. You know, all the factions. Um. That kind of looks like a hairpin, doesn't it? You know, one of the, what the girls use to keep their their buns tight. By buns, I don't mean their butts. I mean their hair. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Our first factories belching out the smoke. What do we got? We got ice, an ice cube factory, a box factory, garments, more more garments. Those two are actually. Let's see, we name this the two. Look at that. I'm doing it for them. So popular in this town, the town of garments. That they need two factories with only a town of 211 people. We have a, a, another box factory. Is that another one? Where they have one? Yeah, two of them. Three, three of them. Three of them. 
Two ice cube factories. Frank's fish sticks. <laughs> look, at, look at the look at where they make fish sticks. They they have this big belching tower of smoke that belches out the fish stick smell. And ready to wear. Okay, uh, and so that smell just fills the town of Springfield. Did I did I name this? Did I rename this? Thought I renamed it. Maybe I didn't. What did I named it before. If I didn't, maybe I did. Wasn't it the uh, Honey Badger? Bill? Wasn't that it? Thought it was. Anyway, uh, we still have a massive demand for industry, and we're getting some money back finally. Uh, it was a little uh, what do they call it? Uh, stop and go for a while. It, it was scary, uh, but we handled. We always handle. We're the best at handling. Should we turn the speed up uh, six times? Look at all the little cars. Look at them go. Oh. That car, that car actually just morphed into the sedan owned by Audrey Hunter. Audrey Hunter, you live here. You, you live here. The see, you, Audrey Hunter, uh, the owner of this uh, what seems to be yellow sedan that a green car morphed into, resides at the Cedar residence. She doesn't have her own house, uh, which she probably could if she went on the road with the circus uh, with her wonderful morphing car. Oh, look at that, a milestone. We're a little hamlet. We get a school, a medical clinic, and a landfill site. Speaking of that, uh, where are these people putting their garbage? That's something I always have trouble with, is uh, dumps. How much does this cost? Expensive? 4000 Not too bad. Let's put it right in the middle of the factories. Right, that, that way you cover up the smell. Nobody ever has to smell it. Uh, I have some FPS issues here. Um, let's see. <laughs> Yes, they like their house so much that the uh, Dean residence copied the Sterling residence. And then right in between these two majestic houses, there's this little this little shed owned by the orchards. Where uh, two adults and three babbies live. Three little babbies. And they're all uneducated. Let's see, who, li who lives in the Dean residence? We got three adults, two teens, and one babby. All uneducated. But they seem to be happy. And that's all that matters. Oh, we're back to one time speed. Let's move that back up to six. Maybe that'll help. The roundabout's already starting. Who would park their cars? Albert Williams. What the hell, man? You work right here. You. <sighs> Who would park their car in a roundabout? Like, what if you're trying. You're coming off here, right? And you're in your car, and you're going, oh, hey, I need to get out of town. I need to get out of Dodge. So you go to take a right turn here, and boom, Albert Williams has parked his car. Another yellow sedan. Just right there. Uh, the people, they need to learn how to drive. That's all. Okay, that's fine. Uh, still got an incredible demand for industry. But uh, let's go ahead. Do we, everyone's, yeah, all, all, these seem to all be filled. So let's add some more in here. Uh, that way we can get a bigger population, get the money, and I, again, get the big bucks going. Should we fill this in? Yeah, let's fill this in. So, so far, it's, it's coming to get, they have no power. There's always something about this game. They have absolutely no power, and that's because we don't have any power actually available. How much do these cost? I have 27,000, these cost 6. 80 a week, oh, we can afford it. You know what? Afford it so well, we're actually going to put 2. Uh, oh, oh boy. That's, that's beautiful. Look at that belching out that sludge. It's actually all fish stick paste. No sewage, it's just fish stick paste. What else could we consider putting in here? I guess we could do some more commercial there. Let's go ahead and add some more commercial. Why not, right? We'll have commercial all around the outside, residential on the inside. Should we add some more? Should we add some more streets? Nineteen thousand? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that! A worthy village. We got a fire department now, which is always a nice thing. Believe it or not, fire department's very helpful. We got some unique buildings, statue of shopping, blah 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 stuff. Stuff we will use probably. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and add some more roads where residential can go because I don't think that's going to be enough space, much as I would like it to be. Uh, let's add a little kidney there. A little kidney. It looks like a smiley face and there's a cyclops. You no, know, like little blue dots of pupil, that's his eye. And his eye's like draining because he got stabbed by this bobby pin. And there's a smile and there's his teeth because he's so happy that he got stabbed by the bobby pin. No? Okay, I didn't think so. Let's go ahead and add, uh, actually, you know what I want to do? Let's do go like that. Let's get a, we don't have highways, uh, six lane road. Let's have it come down 
that's 8,000. I don't want to spend that much. So that'll come down like that, and that'll actually be like the city center, and that'll come all the way down to the bottom of the city. That'll be the main road. We're back to one time speed again. Well, let's go back to six. And then, should we connect this up so people don't have, so people don't have to turn around there? I haven't can so I gotta hold those just a little bit. Uh, I to hold those buttons. We got rid of that semi. Hold the new bus. There we go. Much better. Now we can connect this back up. Do we want to connect it back up or do we want to come in like this? Connect it like that. There we go. Much better. Criminals. Criminals every way. Do we need a police station? We probably do. Can this go on the main drag? No. I don't think it should. I think it should go. This doesn't have really good coverage. That's because that's Dave's tactical gun shop. Tactical gun shop. However, this seems to have a little better coverage. Not really. What if I put it right there? Yeah, right there seems to be good. Right in the, right in the neighborhood. Uh, we should also probably put a fire department while we have the money, because the money won't last long. We're going to use a big chunk of our change, actually. Where should this go? There? No. There? Yes. There we go. Now we have fire and uh, police coverage. More, more industry in the man. Well, I, I, I hate to give more industry, because I really do plan on getting out of industry, eventually. Let's just go like this. I don't think we built there. There we go. We'll build more industry here. Uh, make everybody happy. Boosh, 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 There we go. I think we're gonna need some water. Yeah, we're gonna need some water. So let's go ahead and this. No? Water? Alright, that'll be all the industry, um, well, it won't be all of it, because this will probably all be industry. But, um, hopefully we won't have too much, because I do want to eventually convert to offices, rather, than industry. This is the, how I like to play the game, though. I like to put it on a relatively fast pace, and watch the city build up from the ground. And, I mean, look at that, it's already beautiful. <laughs> we have these giant power lines connecting to these windmills. Very bustling town. Uh, look at all these people. Where are you going? Where are you? Look at, look at him. Look at him go. Caleb Brown, where are you going? The Foggy Residence. He's an uneducated teen. He's going home. Alright. Good for you, Caleb Brown. You do your thing, buddy. Uh, or gal. If you're a girl. That uh, name goes both ways. Uh, looks like we could do some more residential. Uh, we'll put that along here. But yeah, there's a lot to do in this game. And it gets very stressful. Uh, if you're not watching, before you know it, you could uh, end up being way behind on power or garbage, like was often the case with me. Uh, I get so caught up in the awesome buildings and naming districts, putting trees and parks, I often forget about the garbage and garbage piles up. What are you complaining about now? Ah, industry, so not enough workers at Garments Unlimited. The fifth, the fifth or sixth one, I, I would imagine, because that's a Garments Unlimited. That's a Garments Unlimited, and I think this one is. Nope, that one? Nope. One of these. One of these. One of these. One, no. No? Okay. Oh, there it is. Garments Unlimited. There's, there's seven or eight of them here. And we're low on power. <laughs> oh. Alright, I can see how this game's gonna go. Alrighty. Look at that. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six windmills. Just in the corner there, generating power for this little hamlet of 12,000, 13,000 people, which is not so little. Water issues, too. Look at that. Uh, and it's not due to the fact that we have low water availability. It's because I haven't put any pipes in, and so these people have to bathe uh, in the river. Which is actually quite disgusting, because as you can see, the river is starting to be filled up with uh, fish stick goo from Frank's Fish Stick Factory. Yeah, uh, Honey Badgerville. The, oh, look at that, another milestone. Tiny town, reach population of 1600. Uh, uh, yeah, there is. And earlier I just realized, when I said we had a population of 13,000, I was wrong. That it happens to be our bank balance. Not our, po our population is only 1,600. So, oh, there you go, I guess. Uh, do we need a park? Do we need a park? Yes? How about a park? Park? Lots of trees? Right there? Right there. What's the area influence on this? So I put it like, put it there, there, there. Let's, let's put, no? Put it there. There we go. Everyone's happy if we put it there. Uh, everyone can go to the park right next to a firehouse. <laughs> and they can watch all the fire trucks zoom out and uh, go put out fires. However, I think we should have some paths. One thing I love about this game, and I think it's here, or is it here? 
It is here. You can make these paths that go... I'll do dirt because that's supposed to be... Not stone, not dirt so much. You can make these paths between that go from place to place and they look awesome. Like, see, look at that. You can go from here, cut through so you don't have to, you know, trudge through the grass with all the snakes and the spiders and the wombats. Yeah, and you can just get right to the park. And like, these people here, they can go right there. Watch this. Look at this. Right to there. And then they don't have to walk all the way down here, but all the way around to get to the crosswalk. They can just go through here, jaywalk when no one's looking, across the street, go to the park. And then if they want to visit their friends, the, uh, the Madisons, uh, with their one young adult, one teen, one babby, and two adults, uh, all uneducated. Uh, except it says five are uneducated and there's six people living there. No, three plus two? No, that's five. Okay. Simple math confused me. Anyway, if they want to go visit the Madisons or the Willows or the Thorntons, <sighs> 11 people in that house. In this house, there are 11 people. One babby, one teen, four young adults, and five adults, all uneducated, living in that little house. <laughs> Is this their car? No? The green? The Alexander's? No. Okay. Well, that's all. Whose scooter is this? <laughs> Sophie Campbell. It's called the scooter. Anyway, they, all the 11 people can go to the park, hang out. Or here, see, here they are right now. And they can all watch the fire truck zoom by. And have a great time. Uh, we should probably go over here. And actually, let's put this down to th 4. 4 is good. Uh, because it's getting a little stressful. Let's add some more industry. Should industry be straight roads or should it be curvy like this? Because industry uses a lot of traffic. Let's make it straight. Let's just go right there, right there, up to there, and we can have industry all throughout here. Should we get some water lines down? Probably. No, no. There we go. Did they change the look of these water lines? Do I, do I have they always been that way? And I just never noticed. I never noticed there was two next to each other. Maybe they've always been that way. They probably have been. I'm dumb. Anyway, we'll get some industry in there. That's a lot of industry now. It's going to smell all the fish stick smell. There's a fire. There's no fire department over here. And there's one thing I learned. It's that every little industry sector needs a fire department. So there you go. They got a fire department now. All there, That whole fire department, all the trucks are allocated in this area. <laughs> oh, the box factory is on fire. Oh, no. And boxes. Notori what? What's that say? I can't, I can't quite read that. Fruit, fruit, el fault, fault, LLC. LLC. I thought it said fruit egg. Uh, it does not say fruit egg. In fact, it says fault, LLC. Unless I'm wrong, which I might be. Anyway, uh, it seems that the box factory is okay after being caught in a blaze. Um, we have some more demand for residential. We have water down here, water coverage. Okay. There you go. How's our power situation coming? Not good. Jeez. We're gonna have a whole field of windmills up here. Let's just add like a thousand. Uh, maybe we should put a coal factory over here. I think that might be a good thing. Uh, do we want a, another park though? Because these people don't really get to enjoy the park. See, I have all these installed. They're driving theaters, a football field, and by football I mean soccer. Stadium parking, uh, another football field, a Japanese garden. I don't know if that came with it. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't remember. However, uh, there's a small park here. And that's not so small. It's actually bigger than a little plaza. But we'll put it right on the road. So everybody can enjoy it. These people are pissed. They can't get to any of the parks. Should we give them a small park? Yeah. Probably should. Let's give them a basketball court. Let's put it right there. Now everybody's happy. Now these guys can be ballers. These people can enjoy nature. Uh, let's put some more paths down. So everyone can get everywhere. Let's we'll go. Oop. Now they can get there. Um, that seems to be okay, actually. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, more commercial? I can do that. We can do commercial. Uh, I don't normally like to mix commercial and residential like this, but it doesn't really matter too much until you get to a huge city. Then it really starts to matter uh, because of the noise pollution. Well, let's get some residential in. Get the demand down. Do we have, Should we put a school in? Can we afford a school? 15,000? How much is a school? 10,000. We can do it. And these people need a school. Everybody deserves a school. Should we school there? Where should the school go? There? There. There. Well, let's put it there. Now everyone will be happy. They can all get to go to school, send their kids and adults if you haven't gone to elementary school to this high-tech school with a uh, solar panel on the roof where 
Emma Gray patches her park patches parks her hatchback um, in front of a school, which I believe is a ticket. So for you, we're gonna give you a ticket. Ticket of how much did the ticket find me? Hundred dollars? Hundred dollars too much? Okay. Twenty dollars? Twenty dollars? Yeah. Ticket of twenty dollars for you, Emma Gray, because you parked in front of a school. What about all school buses? Oh, look at that. Is that fire truck? No, that's a cop car. Oh, that, that, look at this epic car chase. I mean, <laughs> kind of stopped, but zoo, there they go. Look at him go. Oh, oh, no, he turned off. It wasn't a car chase. In fact, he just wasn't pulling over for the officer. Uh, what do we need here? We have some industry commercial. Okay. Let's, do we have all this stuff? Yeah, we're, I think we're pretty much good. I think we just need to work on building up the city. Um, add some more roads here. I really like to make them nice and curvy for the, uh, the, indus the, the industry, residential part. Because it, I just, it just seems like a little suburban neighborhood and that's where I would want to live. If I had to live in a few faraway land, uh, I would probably like to live in a small town. I wouldn't want to live in a big city. Should we just have to go like that? Yeah, look at that. That's a little private drive there. Uh, I would want to live in a big town. I'd want to live in a suburban area with nice windy roads uh, where you can just sit back, go to parks, and watch the fire truck zoom by. Uh, where did I put that school? That's school right across from the fire department. And isn't the police station around here somewhere? There it is. All right, so the kids are protected. Um, so I want more industry. I don't. Do we want to put more industry? They really want it. Uh, should we should we maximize our our space usage? Should we do straight roads? Probably. Uh, straight, straight, straight. There we go. Straight road. We'll do another one of them. We'll make a whole little industry sector over here. We'll even name it. In this game, one thing, and I might have already mentioned it. Uh. Districts are incredible. Oh, look at that. That's going to be nice space usage there. Optimal. Optimum? Overdrive. Uh. Why was I. <laughs> I don't even know. I was just talking up my butt. I tend to do that. Can we put a park in here so these guys can. Oh, maybe some b ball courts. So after a long day of work, they can. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, that sucks. Bump up the speed to get some more money? Yeah, probably. Uh, do we, can we afford water pipes then, maybe? No. Yes? Oh, yeah. We'll get the residential. I guess it's a good thing that we're going to have uh, industry, because industry brings in a lot of money. Anyway, after a long day of work, they can come in here and shoot some hoops with their pals and read the newspaper. Look at this guy. He's already over here. He's, he doesn't have a ball. Looks like he's just doing some form of Tai Chi. Or is that a, is that a lady? I can't tell. I'll never be able to tell. Oh, they need water. Oh, man. Game is very stressful. Oh, we have low water availability. That's why this time. Should we just, should we just put it there? Can we afford it? Thirty-five hundred. Barely. There we go. We got another water tower in Honey Badgerville. Oh, <laughs> this, this, this is what we're supposed to prevent. Why are they going on the? Ah, that's why. We don't want anybody going down here. For now, there's no reason to use this road. If they need to get over here, they can get over there. Should we make a, should we make it so they, so they can just exit onto there? Yeah, I think we should. Well, we don't have off ramps yet, do we? No, we don't. We have one-way roads, so we will do that. We'll, we'll go like this. So they can just quickly exit out of here so they don't have to exit back onto the roundabout. They will just exit here, uh, down. Should I make that a one-way? Yeah, I, should, I think I should make that a one-way road. Bulldozer. Uh, one-way road. There we go. Now people will come in there and they'll exit there. Uh, hopefully none of these guys have to get over there, but even if they do, they can go back up, around, turn around, over there, that clover leaf, and then come back to the city. That should, oh look at that, it, I got rid of a lot of the traffic, that makes me happy. Uh, yeah, there there it is, Honey Badgerville. Uh, a beautiful little, what was it, a sleepy, sleepy hamlet, worthy village? village? It's beautiful, uh, regardless. Um, if you liked it, give it a like and a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section. Um, I'll, if you guys, if I get, you know, if I get an inkling to you, or if you, oh, don't, we'll just get rid, we don't all look at the garbage stuff. Yeah, they're complaining, there's not enough garbage, and there's a fire. <laughs> Glad I'm, I'm ending this where I did. Uh, if I decide to make some more, I will, or if, you know, we get 
someone says they want more or whatever, I'll decide to do it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, make sure you check out uh, Cake Quest, our, our awesome Minecraft RP series. The best video we've ever made, uh, according to the viewers, it's the most viewed video we've ever made. Uh, make sure it comes out on Sunday nights. If you guys want to see more of that also, let us know. Uh, it'll be extra work, but if you guys decide once a week just isn't enough, convince us. Make us want to put it out twice a week. Uh, no more than that, though. That takes a lot of work and a lot of editing, believe it or not. Um, anyway, make sure you visit uh, kickbadger.com to see our tweets and follow us on Twitter and all that stuff. You know, all the, all the promotional plugging, social media stuff. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, like I said, let me know. Bye.